hi lovelies welcome back i want to thank you guys before i actually jump into this video for helping me to reach 20k on youtube like it is so much and i love you guys to the moon and back and i really appreciate each and every one of you so i am going to be doing a gel x sort of dupe video today and i already prepped her nails what you see me doing here is i'm going in with my jc beauty concepts dehydrator and i'm just dehydrating her natural nail blades and immediately after that has dried i'm going in with the apre gel x primer and i did buy the primer i'm waiting on the extend gel to come in and you guys already know that i have the nail tips so i want to see if it does make a difference compared to what i'm using right now which are my madam glam's base coat and their builder in a bottle in the color pure serenity and that is their clear so right now i am applying my base coat to her natural nail blades and i'm going to go ahead and cure this for 10 seconds so before we started i did already size her nails and i prepped my nail tips and had them to the side so after curing my base coat i'm going to take my builder in a bottle and i'm going to apply apply it to the gel x nail tips so i'm just going to coat over that roughed up area where i filed previously and i'm going to let some of the excess gel from on the brush run into the tip and there is no right or wrong way in applying any amount the cool thing about the gel x is that you can go ahead and take it off if it is that you need more gel and it's not stuck in place until you actually cure it so i did ask my lovely client to hold the light while i was holding the tips and applying the pressure to the cuticle area because the right amount of pressure does eliminate the air bubbles so for me it's easier to ask my clients to hold the light so that i make sure that that nail is nice and straight and i can focus on applying the right amount of pressure because you don't want to put too much pressure on it either because that gel is going to seep out and you're not going to have enough product to actually attach the tip to the nail plate to fill up the entire apex area so you just need to play around with the products that you have and figure out the right amount of pressure that would work for you also remember that tip is like right up against your client's cuticles so the less gel that can seep out around there will be better now it's not hard to remove if it's a little bit because you can just go in with a sanding band or a drill bit on your e-file and just lightly you know file that gel until it pops off but you don't want too much to flood the cuticle area either for me this is the reason why i did go ahead and order the extend gel and the primer to work with the tips because i have a thing with mixing products and i just wanted to see if it would make like a drastic difference having the apre line compared to mixing my madam glam with the apre gel system so that's another video that i would have coming for you guys so off camera i did go ahead and just cut these tips down just a little bit and now I'm going in with my 100 100 grit file by the McCart company. If you guys have not heard about these files, I'm telling you now, they are the bomb.com when it comes to shaping. You must get your hands on it. I am featuring it on my Amazon storefront. Definitely go ahead and check them out. They only come in a pack of 10 right now, but I did contact the McCart company and suggest that they do it in bigger quantities because these are such good quality files that they do it in maybe 20 or 50 for people like me who really do like buying their files in bulk. And another thing I love about these files is that they are washable and sanitizable. So for me, that is awesome. I do sanitize my files in between clients. However, I dump them at the end of every workday. So I'm going to just continue redefining the shape of these nails. Now my client did want medium coffin shaped nails and I only have the upper in the long coffin so I did have to cut it probably a little more than half in order to get the length that she was comfortable with. Now I didn't buy the medium ones. I knew they'd I know they do come in short, medium, and long. And this is just to introduce my clients to the Gel X system for me to see how I really feel about it and if I think I'm going to be investing in this product and in this brand. So the Gel X system is really pricey and because of that I needed to have a feel of whether I wanted to put my money there or not. And to be honest with you guys, the application is the bomb. Even with the products that I'm using now, like I have no issue with them lifting. Like I had a client last 
five weeks and she's a problem lifter with acrylic i've also used this on my nail biters and trust and believe when i tell you it is way easier than having to go in and sculpt those nails guys like and i know a prey has come out with the sculpted nail tips now so you guys can look into that if it is that you're interested but because i do a lot of gel designs i am really loving this now i'm not gonna stop doing my acrylic full sets because i do love acrylic full sets as well but because of the gel x tips i get to focus more on the art part of the design rather than the application so now i'm going in with this cone straight cut bit and this is by the mccart company this is one of the ceramic drill bits in the set and i will have it linked in my description box below and i'm just going around the cuticle area just to make it nice and flush so that when that nail grows out it is smooth and flat to the natural nail and to remove any little bit of gel that may have seeped out so after doing this i'm going to take my zebra sanding band and i'm just going to lightly go over this nail now you don't want to go in and press on it and file away the apex area or anything like that this is not to thin out that nail this is just to rough up the surface for my gel polish application now i know a prey does have buffers as well you can go in with a 100 180 grit buffer and do this step however i just prefer to use my sanding band and i'm really lightly going over that nail when i'm finished i'm going to remove the excess dust with my dust brush and my dust brush is hella cute guys oh my god i just changed it out i got this dust brush that i'm about to show you guys from the beauty big bang company and if you're interested in it i would link it in my description box below as well as my coupon code and when i'm finished with all the dust and removing everything i'm going to take a lint free wipe and listen very carefully this is totally important i've learned the hard way trust me and i'm going to take a little bit of acetone and i'm going to cleanse that nail nice and clean and what this does is that it creates a tacky layer so that when you go in with your gel polish it helps it to adhere to the gel x tips it helps it to bond to that tip to prevent any sort of peeling or chipping away of your gel polishes if you use alcohol learn from me i'm stressing on it because i've done it many 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 times and i only recently realized that the acetone is better for the gel excipes than the alcohol the alcohol gets the nail really cloudy and murky and it looks horrible so i'm going to stress on it use acetone and not alcohol for this step so now i'm taking my madam glam's perfect white and i'm just going to be applying this to all the nails being really careful around my cuticle area because it's white and once it gets on the skin it is so hard to come off especially this one because it's so pigmented but if i do i'm going to take a little bit of acetone on my cleanup brush and i'm just going to go in and clean up any areas that need to before popping her hand into the light and i am going to do two coats of the perfect white and then i'm going to do one coat of my ugly ducklings matte gel top coat So now that everything is cured and ready to go it's time for the fun part so i'm taking these diy alcohol inks that i made and if you guys missed that video it is listed in my description box below if you're buying the expensive ones you need to check that video out you are going to save a lot of money 
so I wanted these to be a little more opaque so I did two drops of each color in its respective place and then I'm going to take my 3d brush with a mixture of acetone and alcohol and I'm going to create my marble now in order to create that faded look from the marble ink into the white you want to take that brush that is not too wet and you want to go ahead and just smudge the color and lightly pull it upwards don't pull it down towards the white because then it's going to go too far down you want to pull it up towards the marble and with marbling there is no right or wrong way to do it i do have a video showing you guys in depth how i accomplish my alcohol ink marbles and i would also link that in the description box below but i just wanted to show you guys how to do the faded effect with this design and that is all i'm going to do to all except her ring fingers on both hands which are going to be our accent nails so i'm going to allow you guys to watch that and i'll meet you right back
for acts and nails I'm going to do a rose cutout in my alcohol ink marbles so I'm going to start off by placing the colors right where I want it just as what I did before and then I'm going to just take that brush that is a little bit wet and I'm just going to tap and start blending my colors just how I want it I am going to be switching brushes to my pure color number five 3d brush and I'm using the tip of the brush in order to do my rose design now this is just like if you were drawing on a rose with white paint but in this case I am taking the acetone and alcohol mixture on my 3d brush and I'm going to start cutting it out now I suggest starting from the center of each rose petal and then lightly working your way out and you need to make sure that you try to keep your brush at a 90 degree angle because if you bend the bristles of the brush it's going to cause the alcohol to spread more than you actually want it to and another suggestion I can give you to get a nice clean cutout is when you go into your alcohol and acetone mixture pat your towel pat your brush oh my god I can't talk today pat your brush on a paper towel before going right on top of the alcohol if you don't do this step and you go right in on top of your marble then you're going to have too much liquid in your brush and it's going to spread and you're not going to get a nice clean defined cut out so I'm just going to repeat this on the opposite hand as well and I did include it in the video so you guys can see me do it twice and that was basically it for this design guys after doing all of that and I was happy with the way that the two accent nails looked I allow the alcohol ink to dry completely before going in with another layer of my ugly ducklings matte gel top coat and these turned out so cute I can't believe how well they looked like I was so like hesitant to do her entire hand in the marble with the accent cut out but they turned out really great and I love how they looked and if you guys enjoy this video and this nail art design as well leave me some rainbow emojis with your comments in the comment section below and I would love to hear your feedback on the Opre Gel X nail tips have you tried the dupe version or did you actually invest in the kit and what is your experience with it what do you think about it I would love to hear your feedback also give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed i will really love for you to join the be glamorous family and click on that subscribe button and while you're there why not just click on the bell one time and join the notification gang so that you don't miss a beat the next time your girl posts a new video and if you guys miss me so much definitely come over and join me on instagram i post frequently across there i'm all up in my snaps i do love sharing your work so if you recreate this design definitely tag me hashtag stay glamorous and i will add you to my insta stories i have my instagram name on the screen and it's also listed in the description box below so i hope to see you guys over there real soon and i'm going to leave you right here now to watch the rest of this video i practically talked through this entire video there i go again there it goes there it goes <laughs> But I love chatting with you guys as you already know and I look forward to hearing your views and opinions in the comment section below. As always, I would love for you to stay glamorous, be safe, and I'll see you soon.